What are the virtues of Salat al-Tasbih? Salat al-Tasbih is a, a special type of prayer was reported in Hadith Ibn Abbas radiallahu an that he said that the Prophet sallallahu uh, uh, said to Al-Abbas, to the Prophet's uncle and to Abdullah ibn Abbas' father Ya Abbas, Ya Ammah my uncle Al-Abbas Ala u'tika ala amnahuk Ala ahbuk You want me to gift you Do you want me to give you something special um, uh, Ala af'alu bika ashra khisal I will show you ten things if you do it. فعلت إذا أنت فعلت if you do it غفر الله لك ذنبك Allah will forgive your sins. أوله وآخره all of your sin from the beginning to the end. قديمه وحديثه the old and the new. خطأه وعمده whatever you did intentionally or unintentionally. صغيره وكبيره any sin that is committed. Uh, 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 as a minor or major سره وعلانيته whatever you did in public or secret so all your sins will be forgiven what are the things that the Prophet wants him to do he said to salli arba'a raka'at you pray four raka'a in each raka'a you read fatiha tul kitab the fatiha and one surah any surah and when you finish from reading before you basically you go to rukur while you're standing you say subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar 15 times then you say allahu akbar and you go to rukur and while you are making rukur you say subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar 10 times then you rise up then you say again 10 times then you go down to sujood and you say 10 times then you rise sitting between the two sujood and you say 10 times. Then you go to sujood and you say another 10 times. Then you rise up again and you say, you read al-Fatiha and surah, then 10 times. He said that 75 times. 70 times repetition of subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, akbar. And you do this in the four rakahs. Then in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, if you can do it every day once, do it. If you can't, if it's too much, every week once, do it. If it's too much, every month once, do it. If you can't every month, once in the year, do it. If you can do it in the year, at least once in your lifetime, he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This hadith reported by Abi Dawood and Imam Ibn Majah, rahimahullah ta'ala. But there is a huge debate between the scholars over the authenticity of this narration. Some scholars have collected all the different narrations and all the turq, the chain of narrators, the chain of, narr uh, chain of narrators for this particular narration. And some ulama said it is acceptable, hasan, some said even authentic. And among the scholars who collected all the turq, all the way this hadith was narrated to us, an Imam al Dara Qutni rahimahullah, uh, uh, and Al Khatib Al Baghdadi, uh, uh, and a very uh, well known scholar of Hadith, Al Hafiz Abu Musa Al Madini. And among the scholars who consider it uh, uh, sound Hadith, Ibn Khuzayma, Al Hakim, Al Bulqini, Al Nawawi, Al Suyuti, uh, Ibn Mandah, Al Zarkashi, Al Mundiri, and Ibn Hajar, Rahimahullah, consider it acceptable, Hassan. And among the modern scholars, Sheikh Al Albani, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and there is a longer less than that. But if we look at the older scholar, the early scholars of hadith, the greatest of Imams of hadith, they consider this hadith absolutely rejected. Not only weak, but absolutely rejected. Like Al Imam Ali ibn al Madini, like Al Imam Ahmed, Rahimahullah. Uh, like Al Imam Al Tirmidhi, like Al Imam uh, 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 Abu Ja'far Al Uqayli, uh, like uh, uh, also uh, Al Imam Al Mizzi, considered extremely uh, weak. Uh, uh, Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, Rahimahullah uh, Ta'ala. Ibn Al Jawzi considered uh, fabricated hadith. 
and Shaykh al Islam bin Taymiyyah rahimahullah consider this hadith shad, yani the, the metan, the text itself, uh, it doesn't go uh, along with the rest of the hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. First of all, saying that your sin, what you did it intentional, unintentional. Unintentional sins are not sins. Okay, unintentional acts cannot be considered sin. Also, there is nothing in Sharia you do it once or a month or once a week or once in your lifetime. There is nothing like that. There is no similarity uh, to anything in Sharia before. That's why Shaykh uh, al Baz, Rahimahullah, Shaykh al Thimin, all considered as rejected narrations and is not uh, authentic uh, hadith. Uh, I do believe it is weak narrations. And uh, I consider it e even uh, uh, part of the bid'ah because of it is the weakness of the hadith. But if somebody believes in the authenticity of it and he did it, uh, it is insha'Allah, uh, uh, if he trusts those ulama and copy them and, and follow their tasheeh, their ruling on the hadith, uh, that's fine. Uh, you heard how it has been performed and what is that ruling in regard uh, to it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Hey, thank you for uh, watching and subscribe so you can continue to get the rest of the videos. I don't know whether somewhere over here, there, whatever, whatnot. Uh, it's beautiful, this, uh, this series of videos, Faith IQ. And we need your support. And that's by watching it, by sharing it, and then by donating towards it so we can continue to make more videos that deal with more of your issues. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.